Absolutely, Kendra. My standards are very, very high when it comes to that. Um, he needs to be making at least half a mil. Five hundred K. Yep. Now, let me just. Okay, so he has to be six feet. Mm -hmm. He has to make five hundred K. At least, yes. And, and you're the only woman. I'm the only woman, yes. Standards being high sounds great. I'm with it. But single mothers need to get out their own head and realize that the average man who's making about $500,000 a year who's six feet tall and faithful, nine times out of 10 will not be choosing you. You're asking this man to date down and usually people who are wealthy, they tend to like collective success. So they end up dating women who come from wealthy families. Ma'am, that is not you. Especially if you're requiring a man makes five hundred thousand dollars a year you come with so much baggage including kids that aren't even his usually men who are wealthy and smart care about legacy and lineage so nine times out of ten they want to have their own children and they don't necessarily want to blend families with a broke family but you can aim high you know getting a man like that in the position that you are in is like winning the lottery and people have won the lottery but you probably get a man faster if you were a little bit more realistic, meaning date on your level, date single fathers, date men who make the same amount of bank you do, but we know damn well that you're not making $500,000 a year because if you were, you wouldn't feel like his money is you reaching up so high and aiming so high and your standards are so high. You'd simply just be saying, hey, I'm trying to find my equivalent. I'm trying to find my equal, but that's not what you're doing.